So, a few weeks ago, I was online reading about uh, Google Expedition, which is when Google sends a representative to schools with a set of 50 of these boxes called Google Cardboard. And they send in a trainer, and they go into classrooms, and they outfit these onto students' faces, like this, and take them on like a virtual reality tour. So, of course, I was interested, I signed up for it, we didn't get them here. So instead of getting them here, I just went ahead and bought uh, three sets of these per campus. And then uh, my idea was to simply put them in the schools with very little instruction and just kind of see what happens with them. So here at this campus, oh, that sign's outside. Uh, we have three of these in the library and then a poster and a, and a sheet that has different apps that you can get to put on your phone or your mobile device that you can use for free with this system. What is this? Yeah, it's weird. I don't like it. crazy this is really this is really cool I mean it's cardboard so you know that that that's kind of like throwing me off a little bit but I really like it whoa so how was your experience with Google cardboard uh, it was weird so how did you feel about Google cardboard pretty trippy it feels like you're in a different world oh yeah that's what they were going for I hope so so how was your experience with Google Cardboard? It was really, really cool. The experience is, it's really cool to be in a virtual reality and put yourself outside of the real world for just about, you know, 30 seconds or so, or however long you wish. But I really like the orientation of it, how you can just look through lenses and be in a different world. It's really cool. I don't know if you guys can see it. And when you put it on, you're just immersed into this completely different world. It's really cool. So students, if you'd like to come in and try these out, we're here before school. You can come in sometime during the day. This would be a great project to just come in and play around with. You might be able to fit it into one of your projects for your class assignments. So come in and try us out. Another week, another episode of Pirate TV. One more week and we get our Thanksgiving break. I can't wait. The Saturday after Thanksgiving is the big Lights on the Lawn Music Fest, and I plan to be there. That's right. Cody Cannon and The Departed are the headliners. He used to be the frontman for Cross Canadian Rugby. And Jason Eady will perform, as will Courtney Patton. And the CHS Rock Band is scheduled to kick it off. There will be food trucks to provide a big variety of food. And best of all, it's a family-friendly event. Gates open at 5.30. Bring your lawn chairs. Get your tickets for $15 at CISCEducationFoundation.com or for 20 at the gate. Don't forget, it's not too late to win tickets from Pirate Radio. Just listen at the top and bottom of every hour to find out how. CHSPirateRadio.com With Thanksgiving just around the corner, we decided it was time to say thanks to Mr. Johnson and his students for building new platforms for our Pirate TV studio. We've had them for several weeks now, but we just keep forgetting to say thanks. Thanks. Well, that's all we have for now. I'm P-Dog. And I'm A-Rob. It's time for Pirate TV.
Hey Pirates, it's time for this week's sports update. Last Friday, your varsity Crandall Pirates football team played their last district game against Maybank, ending up undefeated at home turf. They had a phenomenal game, finishing with the score of 50 to 7. We interviewed Coach Carey for his thoughts about the game and their expectations for tonight's first playoff game against Pittsburgh. How do you think that the boys played last Friday's game? Uh, played very well. Um, really pleased with how we came out and handled our business Friday night, our last home game, and were able to send the seniors out with a win, their last game at Pirate Stadium. Um, we made plenty of mistakes that we were able to learn from, and but it was a really good win headed into the playoffs. How do you think they're going to do in the playoffs? Well, um, you know, everybody's zero and zero now, so it's a new season, and um, I know our kids are ready. We're playing a really good Pittsburgh team, but um, we've had a really good week of practice and preparation, so hopefully we'll go out and play very well Friday night. Okay, thank you. Now for cross-country update, your Crandall Pirates cross-country girls Kylie Purifoy and Keely Henley ran at state last Saturday. Kylie placed 17th and Keely placed 66th. We'd like to congratulate both of you for an outstanding season and thank you for representing the Pirate Nation. We also want to congratulate Trevor Weagle on signing to Southern Arkansas University this past Wednesday for baseball. Congratulations Trevor and good luck. Now for this year's first basketball update, I got the chance to interview some of the varsity players including Garrett Hall, Justin Thomas, and J.B. Tucker. Wait, how's practice going? Uh, practice is going real good. Um, we're playing good with each other. If we just keep everybody healthy, then we're going to be golden. Golden, baby. Golden. What are your expectations for this? <laughs> um, expectations. I have high expectations. Uh, the highest. I would like to go undefeated, you know, see us in the regional tournament, maybe even the state tournament. I mean, high hopes, high hopes. Be pretty big goals. I'm Nazari. And I'm D-Nasty. Oh, yeah! Tune in next week for another Pirate Sports Update. Pirate of the week. Pow. Pirate of the week. Pow. Pirate of the week. Pow. Miss <laughs> Milligan is our Pirate of the Week this week because of all the enrichment that she provides to our students by taking them to the hospital and all kinds of learning experiences. Thank you, Miss Milligan. Thank you. What do you say? You have to look at Thank the you. Say, pow. Pow. Thank you, pal. L pal. <laughs> You've been powed. All right. We're powing Miss Mitchell here today. Hi. We want to thank you. Hey, Miss Mitchell, seriously, authentically, listen, thank you. No, sorry. Thank you for everything you've done at the football games. You've been in the rain. Last week, you were at Eustis. You were at Tyler. We can't thank you enough. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! Wow. Say pow. Yes! Wednesday was Veterans Day. What is Veterans Day? Uh, Veterans Day is a day that we like to thank our veterans for all that they did. It's the anniversary of the end of World War I. My uncle and my grandpa served in the military and Veterans Day means to me like just to show them respect and you know, make them recognize for what they did and how much we appreciate their service in the military. Veterans Day is a public holiday held on the anniversary of the end of World War I. Why do we have it? Uh, we have Veterans Day to support all the soldiers and everything. We have Veterans Day to support everyone who has served for our country and I really thank everyone who has served for us. Do you know a veteran? Uh, yes, Coach Thomas was a war vet. He served two terms in the Army. Um, I'd like to thank Coach for uh, fighting for our country overseas, and uh, thanks Coach Thomas. My grandpa, uncle, and cousin are all veterans. My dad, love ya. My dad. My Papa Larry, thanks. Thank you for your service to Crandall ISD, so. I joined, actually joined to see the world, and then they sent me 40 miles from home. I'd like to thank both my grandpas. I'd like to recognize Coach Thomas for being a veteran. Al Xavier Jackson, happy Veterans Day. Thank you to my grandfather for serving in the war and thank you for my grandpa for helping out. Thank you, veterans. It's time to give turkey bucks. The turkey bucks is to buy turkeys for Thanksgiving 
for families in need. Um, right now our turkey bucks are kind of sad. Our highest bucket has $9. You can make sure that your favorite teacher gets to wear a turkey costume. And I don't know, but I'm thinking Mr. Klein would look really great in a turkey suit next Friday, all day long. So please contribute to the Turkey Bucks to make sure your teacher that you would like to see in a turkey suit wins. Hello, my name is Johnny Cashew. Mine is Tom Sullery, and this is Crandall High Broadcasting Service. In local news, a threat disrupts a plan to meet about threats. Also, there's a dead body found in a cemetery at two o'clock this morning. Bugs are flying around with wings. They're calling them flying bugs. I, that's, that's, okay. In Austin, there's an attorney who accidentally sued himself. Meanwhile, in New York City, the Parks and Recreation Services is quite unsure why the sewer smells. I'm sure there's a reason. Well, maybe they got a whiff of Johnny's cashew over here. <laughs> well, uh, well, most damage caused by earthquake is shaking. That's quite unusual. Johnny, can you just go by the script for once? Well, tell me this, Rat Fields. What about your survival you know, show? We promised not to talk about that. Well, I mean, it's failed once, and your attempt to be popular again is gonna try is gonna you triumph what? this time. I'm done. Yeah. Are you gonna quit again? Yes, I am actually. Look, look you're just, you're just gonna go. All right, that's um. It's unprofessional. Why? It's unprofessional. Okay. Well, that's it for today. Join us next time on Crandall High School Broadcasting Service. Saturday night, November 28th, rain or shine at Crandall High School. It's a Lights on the Lawn Music Fest. Featuring Cody Canada and The Departed. I called up Lucky on the telephone. With Jason Eady. But this old guitar in me. And Courtney Patton. And I don't want to hear how you'll miss my smile. Plus, a special guest appearance by the CHS Rock Band. <laughs> Tickets at the gate are only $20. Advanced tickets are only $15 online. Get yours at CISDeducationfoundation.com. Gates open at 5.30 for this family-friendly event. Bring your lawn chairs, food, music, and lots of fun. Lights on the Lawn Music Fest. Benefiting the Crandall ISD Education Foundation. Don't miss it. What's up, B-King? Ho hold on. At this moment, JT knew he messed up.